Hi, I'm John Pullman, professional boxing trainer, owner of Pullman's Gym in Northridge, California, and this is Pullmanomics. One of the greatest college football coaches of all time, Paul Bear Bryant, has one of my favorite quotes. He says, offense sells tickets, but defense wins championships. Makes perfect sense. My other good friend, Billy Briscoe, who's an excellent boxing trainer and a boxing encyclopedia from Philadelphia, he said that quote to me one time and he said, and John, that includes boxing. You go in there, you enhance your defense, you're walking down. I said, it makes all the sense in the world. You know, at the highest level, everybody can throw punches hard and fast and, and, and look really good and hurt you and all that. But it's the guys who can defuse those punches by making a miss or blocking them or staying out the way in general of them and making the person not be able to punch. Those are the ones who, who really become elite. So if you want to be an elite fighter or a great fighter, you have to have great defense. And today we're going to talk about using the various forms of defense in different ways. Mixing up your defense, if you will. Changing your defense. Disguising what you're doing. So we're going to um, try to mix all those things up and strategize them in different fashions. So here we are. We have Josh, and he's going to help us demonstrate changing up or mixing up our defense, right? So I'd like to mention, you know, when you first start learning defense, you, you learn each move separately, really learn all the really good te techni technical ways of doing each move, whether it be a slip or a roll. And we went over how to step back in, by itself. We went over how to slip and roll, move your head, right? How to block punches. We had all specific episodes to really break down how to do those moves independently and really well, right, and properly. Once you learn those, it's like playing chess, right? You learn how the horse moves. You learn how the castles move. You learn the way each piece is, can move. And then you start talking about strategy, when to do what, or why you're doing what, and, and, and what order of things to do, and how to use these things in a match, per se, right? So that's what we're going to start doing now with, with uh, our defense. And I'm, I'm using these sticks today. So just like pool noodles, you can get these in, in, you know, in, in any basic kind of hardware store or something or, or pool supply store. And they're, and they're very inexpensive and they're really great to, 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 to use for defense, to block them, to block you know, punches. You, you pretend these are punches, you can block them or slip them or step back from them. And like, so Josh is in his boxing stance here. He's left-handed. It doesn't matter if he's left-handed or right-handed. You have to practice all your different defenses anyway, right? So the first way he's going to use his for defenses are his feet, right? That's the first line of defenses are your feet. So if I were to throw a punch at Josh, all he's gonna do is step back, Whoop, right? That's any kind of punch. He gets out the way, all the punches stepping back, whether it's an uppercut, a hook, a straight punch, right? Just step out the way, your first line of defense. Another, your next line of defense are your hands to block, right? So now I'm gonna throw a wide punch, he's gonna block it, bang, right? Bang, refer back to our previous episodes, how to block punches, I throw a jab, he blocks it, boom, right? Straight right hand, he blocks it, right? Hook, he blocks it, right? His hands to block punches. Then he has another, his next line of defense, he has his head to move, right? So if I throw a wide punch at him, he might roll it. He's moving his head, right? He's slipping. If I throw straight punches, slips and rolls. Whoop, perfect, right? So three lines of defense. The next line of defense is you can just punch him, right? That's another line of defense. If I were to throw some wide punch, he might just throw a straight punch right down the middle. Boom, beat me to it. He might throw his jab, boom, stop me right in my tracks. So that's another line of defense. Now, what we'll do is we're going to use all those different kinds of lines of defense in different type of orders, in different order, so you kind of confuse the person. So they're not really sure what way you're going to um, defend yourself, so then they're, they're unsure when to punch or what punch to throw even, right? I'll give you an example. Josh's in a good boxing stance. Right back up a little, Josh, a little more. So he's going to slide to me. Back up a little more, it's okay. He's going to slide to me, right? And before he gets to me, I, when I think he's coming, I'm going to go to throw a punch and he's just going to step out of the way, right? He's going to slide to me and then he steps out of the way. So he uses his feet. So now I'm thinking, oh, okay, this guy's moving his feet really good, right? So I might need to step in more with my punch. So, here, so this time he's going to change it up. Instead of stepping back, he's going to stand his ground and block. So he slides to me. 
and he's going to block, right? He changed his defense, right? So now I'm thinking, oh, this guy's going to stay there for me, so I don't need to step in. So then he might step back again. He slides to me. He steps back. Whoop. So he's mixing up his distance and his blocks, and he's going to block again. Slide to me. Block. Whoop. Good. Then this time, he might move his head, change it up, right? Because I think he's open down the middle when he blocks with his hands around the side, so he might slip this time. He slides to me. Whoop. He slipped. I'm like, oh, man, he slipped. So now I might throw a hook because I saw him slip over there. He slides to me. Whoop. Whoop. See that? He, I caught him because he tried to roll. This time he's going to block it, right? Slide to me. Pop. Right. It's okay. If you get hit sometimes, it happens. But you still stay with it and you still stay disciplined. You still practice your defense, right? This time he'll slip. He'll stay right there. He'll slip. Pop. Good. Stay here. Now he'll block. Whoop. And he'll block. Now I think I see something up the middle. He's going to slip. Boom. Slip the other way. Boom. Now I think he's over here. He's going to step back maybe. Whoop. Good. Then he's going to stay there and block. Boom. Then he's going to step back again. Boom. Then he's going to slip, roll, roll. He's going to put some head movement together just to keep changing it up. Slip, roll, roll. Beautiful. Now I saw him duck down. I'm probably going to try to punch underneath. What's he going to do? Boom. Step out of the way. Beautiful. He might block. Boom. Good. Block. Boom. And I think he's open up the middle. Slip. Good. Now he might control the distance and block the jab. Boom. And if I'm left-handed, he might use his other hand. Boom. Good. Block. Boom. Good. Step back. Boom. Good. So you can see he's mixing up all his defense, right, in different fashions. And you can just practice this, this in a mirror or by yourself if you don't have somebody to throw punches at you. You know, you just practice. You, you, you practice your slips. And you think in your brain, okay, I just slipped. What was I up for when I slipped? Oh, let me do a different defensive move this time. It keeps the other person off balance. So you, you, it's very important to make sure you do change up your defense. What I do today is very important because I'm exchanging a day of my life for it.